originally created as one-panel cartoons for the New Yorker newspaper publication by American cartoonist Charles Adams in 1938, the Adams Family was meant as a satirical inversion of the ideal American family. Over time, various family members would appear in the comics, television, sitcom, animated series, and movies. But the core characters are Gomez and Morticia Adams, their children Wednesday and Pugsley, Uncle Fester, Grandmama or Granny Frump, Thing, Cousin It, and their faithful butler, Lurch. According to Charles Adams, Gomez and Pugsley are enthusiastic. Morticia is even in disposition. Muted, witty, sometimes deadly. Grandma Frump is foolishly good-natured. Wednesday is her mother's daughter. A closely knit family, the real head being Morticia, although each of the others is a definite character, except for Grandma, who is easily led. Many of the troubles they have as a family are due to Grandma's fumbling, weak character. The house is a wreck, of course, but this is a house-proud family, just the same, and every trap door is in good repair. Money is no problem. The Adams live by a family credo of sic gorgiamus alos subjectatos nuns, which in English means, we gladly feast on those who would subdue us. They live in a gloomy mansion adjacent to a cemetery and a swamp at 0001 Cemetery Lane in the early comic strip. In the new Adams family, the address of their family home was changed to 1313 Cemetery Lane. The house was next placed in Central Park for the Adams Family Musical, first shown in Chicago in 2009. Though quite morbid, with an interest in the macabre, the Adams aren't a family of evil monsters, but rather a close-knit, loving, welcoming, and friendly, although odd, extended family. Morticia is an exemplary mother, and she and Gomez remain passionate towards each other. The family is often altered slightly, depending on the adaptation. In the original comic strip and sitcom, Fester was Morticia's uncle. However, in the later films and the animated series of the 90s, Fester was Gomez's older brother. The Adams Family has appeared in television a total of six times, with the first sitcom appearing for two seasons from September 18, 1964 to April 8, 1966, for a total of 64 episodes on ABC. They then appeared in the new Scooby-Doo movies for CBS on September 23, 1972. The first animated series premiered on September 8, 1973, and ran for 16 episodes until December 22, 1973 on NBC, with a live-action Halloween special debuting for the network on October 30, 1977. The second version of the animated series debuted on September 12, 1992, and and ran on ABC for 21 episodes until November 6, 1993. The New Adams Family, which aired on YT in Canada and Fox Family Channel in the U.S. from October 19, 1998 for 65 episodes until August 28, 1999. Gomez Adams has been played by John Astin, Jack Riley, Lenny Weinrib, Glenn Toronto, Raul Julia, Tim Curry, and Oscar Isaac. Morticia has been played by Carolyn Jones, Janet Waldo, Nancy Lenari, Ellie Harvey, Angelica Houston, Daryl Hannah, and Charlize Theron. Uncle Fester has been portrayed by Jackie Coogan, Rip Taylor, Michael Roberts, Christopher Lloyd, Patrick Thomas, and Nick Kroll. Lurch has been played by Ted Casty, Jim Cummings, John DeSantis, Carell Strucken, and Conrad Vernon. Wednesday has been played by Lisa Loring, Cindy Henderson, Debbie Derryberry, Nicole Fugieri, Christina Ricci, and Chloe Grace Moretz. Pugsley has been portrayed by Ken Weatherwax, Jody Foster, Gene Elias, Brody Smith, Jimmy Workman, Jerry Messing, and Finford. Granny Frump and Grandmama have been mixed up so much between various sites, it's difficult to determine which actress played which grandma. So I'll just give you a list of actresses who are credited as playing either or, and you can be the judge of which grandma they played. Margaret Hamilton, Janet Waldo, Elvia Allman, Judith Molina, Carol Channing, Carol Kane, Meredith Bain Woodward, Catherine O'Hara, Blossom Rock, Jane Rose, Betty Phillips, and Bette Midler. According to the AdamsFamily.Fandom.com, even the contributors have mixed these two characters up, even though it specifically says the two characters shouldn't be confused with each other at the top of both characters' pages. However, I did notice that the sites list Granny Frump as being in the Adams Family and the Adams Family Values movies of the 90s. Even though I specifically remember and have double-checked Morticia referring to the character in the film as Grandmama. 
In the original comic strip, the characters didn't have names. It wasn't until the 1964 sitcom where their names would first be mentioned. Charles Adams suggested naming the patriarch of the Adams family either Rapelli or Gomez. He ultimately left the decision up to John Astin, who chose Gomez. As a young man, Gomez was a sickly youth. He only gained perfect health after meeting Morticia. The two were betrothed to each other during an arranged marriage provided by Grandmama Adams and Granny Frump, who were the best of friends in school, but later Grandmama reveals she couldn't stand Granny Frump. Gomez nevertheless studied law and was voted most likely never to pass the bar. Gomez has never won a single case during his time practicing law, but he has never lost one either, to which Grandmama proclaims that Gomez has a perfect record. Although he rarely practices, Gomez boasts of having put many criminals behind bars while acting as their defense attorney. Morticia was the black sheep of the Frump family, with her parents preferring her sister Ophelia Frump to her. Charles Adams gave Wednesday her name based on the well-known nursery rhyme line, Wednesday Child child is full of woe, and her middle name is said to be Friday. Her favorite toy is her Marie Antoinette doll, which Pugsley guillotines at her request. Pugsley is the oldest of the Adams children, and when the characters were given names for the television series, Pugsley was originally going to be called Pubert, but it was rejected as it sounded too sexual. The name Pugsley was chosen instead. Gomez and Morticia have three children, between other forms of media as well. Wednesday Jr. appears to be identical to her older sister Wednesday in all ways, even having an identical Marie Antoinette doll, but it's unclear if she's the youngest or the second youngest of the Adams children. Pugsley Jr. is nearly identical in every way to his older brother Pugsley. However, it's not known if he's the third Adams child or the fourth. Their only appearance is in Halloween with the new Adams family. Pubert is the last of the Adams children, but it's unclear if he's older or younger than Wednesday Jr. and Pugsley Jr. as they never appear together. Puber appeared in the Adams Family Values and may have been referred to in the Adams Family Reunion when Wednesday states there used to be three children but Pugsley ate him. Cousin It was a character unlike the others in the Adams Family as he wasn't created by Charles Adams but by a producer of the show. Thing is the family's hand servant and was originally intended to be the disembodied head in the 1960s television series, Thing was usually played by Ted Cassidy, who also played Lurch. Although, in occasional cases where the two characters appeared in the same scene, Thing would be played by a crew member. Thing was usually a right hand, but Cassidy sometimes played him as a left, simply to see if anyone would notice. Uncle Fester was revealed in a 1977 New Yorker retrospective on Charles Adams as the avatar Adams chose to represent himself. In most incarnations, Fester is the uncle of Morticia and brother of Granny Frump, save for the 1990s films where he's Gomez's older brother. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.